What's up everyone, it's Tech Trooper 64 and today is July 23rd, 2015 and legendary indie developer Scott Cawthon in charge of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise has officially confirmed today that the fourth installment of the indie horror title will be available starting today at $7.99 on Steam for Windows PCs. Here's what Scott Cawthon had to say about the game's release. Okay, so as many as you already know, I'm bad with release dates, said Cawthon. The game is already finished. He noted that some players had run into a problem with the full screen option and said he expects it to be finished by the end of the day. Cawthon originally announced the game back in April as Final Nights of Freddy's 4, the final chapter, and said at the time that he was going to have a Halloween release date. That's more than three months of today. And, curiously, the Steam release and last week's trailer are both missing the final chapter title. Could this mean that, that Scott Cawthon might want to continue the franchise even after the fourth one? Who knows? But right now, all we know is that the fourth installment of Five Nights at Freddy's will be coming out today. Now, here's what I think about this. You see, there was a mishap earlier today with my bank account and Amazon, and there was a whole mishap that apparently I still signed up for Amazon Prime after the trial, and they charged me for it. So I'm missing a bunch of money, uh, and now, bottom line, I can only have enough money to spend on one title. Reason why is because also another indie title that came out for new 3DS and Wii U and Xbox One is The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, I like Five Nights at Freddy's and I also like The Binding of Isaac. I've been waiting for it to be on Wii U or 3DS because I'm getting it on the new 3DS or I want to get it anyway on the new 3DS. Um, and it was never available for a console I owned because uh, I sold my Xbox One now so I still don't own an Xbox One. Uh, it's a long story. So, um, it's just pretty much either buy Five Nights at Freddy's 4 or buy The Binding of Isaac on the new 3DS, which requires me to deposit $10 in my eShop account, um, which is all I can spend at, the, at this time. Um, and Five Nights at Freddy's is $7.99. So, I'm kind of in a rock and a hard place. So, I don't know, uh, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments down below what's a recommendation. Should I get Five Nights at Freddy's 4? Or should I get The Binding of Isaac Rebirth? I've never played it before, but it's the first time it's coming to the new 3DS, and I've never played it, like I said. But that's just how I feel about it. Um, another thing is that, Scott, I hope if you're watching this, um, I've been a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's since the beginning. Uh, since the first one came out, the second one came out, even the third one. But I've been noticing that when the third one came out, I think it was more on the story than gameplay wise and I think that personally all your purchases of people who buy your game are buying it because of the story now I'm not a big fan of gamers who buy uh, games just for the story because if you want to just do entertainment or product you know just for the story then you better go watch a damn movie because you know gaming is not meant for that it's meant for the experience it's meant for the gameplay and the story and the story along with graphics and all that so it's for all that it's not just for the story it's not just for the gameplay it's not just for the graphics it's it's all in one so what do i have to say about this i think that scott cawthon i hope that if you make a fifth five nights at freddy's please stick to your release dates i get it you're bad with release dates you don't like releasing games that are you know um or like very very late and people have to wait for them i get it you're an indie developer it's your choice i found out that like indie developers and third parties um like before i saw indies lower and and third parties higher but now you can see that third parties they're rushing their games out with glitches and bugs and stuff just look at arkham knight right that's a good example of it where it's full of bugs and glitches and they don't care about the experience for the gamer they only care about making the buck at the end but indie developers they care about the experience of the gamer yeah, they care about money, but not too much. Like, they don't really care about it. It's like, oh, great, we're making money, but that doesn't really matter. Like, look at games that you can download online for free that are made by indie devs. Like, for example, Presentable Liberty, or look at, um, I think it's called Exoptable Money. Um, it's just games like that that you can just download for free. You don't need to pay for it. It's an indie game. Like, they don't care about making money. They care about the experience. Um, so, with that being said... Five Nights at Freddy's was like that as well, 
But now the fourth one coming out this early, I don't know if it's Scott's eagerness or if he just wants to make a quick buck. Anyways, that's just how I feel about it. And, you know, I was hoping that Five Nights at Freddy's 4 was going to release this Halloween, and I thought it would follow better. Uh, there's also a description for the game, so I'm just going to go over that real quick. This time, the terror has followed you home. In this last chapter of Five Nights at Freddy's original story, you must once again defend yourself against Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy, and even worse things that lurk in the shadows. You're playing as a child whose role yet is yet unknown, but you must safeguard yourself until 6 a.m., watching the doors as well as warding off unwanted creatures that may venture into your closet or onto your bed behind you. You have only a flashlight to protect yourself. It will scare away things Things that may be creeping at the far end of hallways, but be careful and listen. If something has crept too close, then shining lights in its eyes will be your end. So, I hope that the game does well, but it's just, it's not my type of game. So what do you guys think? What's your side on the whole Five Nights at Freddy's series? And do you think that Scott is rushing these out too fast, or you think his pace is pretty okay? Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.